What's up, Panda? It's Peter from Panda here. I just received another watch I ordered. This one I ordered a little while ago. Obviously, it came from China as well, so it took a little while to get here. Um, it's by, uh, I got it from Sandy Store. It's listed as a luxury men's crocodile full leather analog watch blue. And I got it because in the pictures, it kind of has a really cool, had a really cool looking metallic blue dial. First of all, blue is my favorite color. You're my boy, blue. And this has blue all over it. Maybe a little too much blue for me, but um, it's a cheap watch too. Under 10 bucks, well under 10 bucks, depending on where you find it. Um, crocodile faux PU leather. Looks pretty nice. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, on cheap watch bands, and even on higher end watch bands, what they do is they kind of uh, taper this end of the watch band and then fold it back and then glue it and sew it down. So there isn't a lot of material right here. And what I've had happen sometimes is uh, this under kind of stress get peels up, um, the threading here maybe breaks and the watch band comes off. So keep that in mind, you know, if you're gonna be really active with a particularly um, inexpensive watch band, you may want to replace it, but you know, it's kind of cool. Cool blue dial. I would say in the picture, it definitely looks more like reflective metallic. Um, here it is just, uh, it's just kind of a flat matte blue. Not that it looks bad. Um, it's actually kind of like a U of M watch. It's blue everywhere with a little bit of maze right there on the second hand. And, um, you know, sword style um, hands and they have uh, white paint on them. Um, I'm just checking. There actually is a little loom. Sure appears that way. I'll go ahead and throw it in the dark there. Um, and see if we can get it to glow for you. And the hour markers are painted white. Maybe there's a little loom in there. Um, but uh, these subdials are all fake. They're just painted on. They're actually, they are slightly raised, but very slightly. In fact, it's so slight, it just might be the paint on the dial itself. Now, what I want to throw out there is that I showed you earlier this other watch by Yazoo. And these are effectively the same watches. You know, even if you look at the the tachymeter uh, label up there on the upper bezel, you know, they're they're effectively the same. There, there are slight differences. Um, they are about the same size. The subdials, while here, it's kind of a thick... Uh, chrome like border these are a little more these are a little thinner and um, a little more detailed maybe slightly more you know kind of just a little bit more minute detail and everything I actually don't even know what this says up here it's like sh should uh, so I couldn't tell you the uh, pushers here um, unlike the ones here which are kind of spring-loaded faux pushers are just molded they don't have they're not they don't they don't freely move there's no fake there's no spring um there's nothing in it that would suggest that they work even at kind of at a glance you can tell that they're just a single single molding and the metal either is really thin you know it's very light but you can even hear maybe kind of sounds like a plastic so Kind of, to me, it feels like, I don't know, coated, plated aluminum or something. Um, says a stainless steel back. That's about it. You know, just in terms of color and shape, I kind of dig it. Uh, and for, you know, five, six, seven bucks, how can you go wrong? Now, the band isn't super long. Gonna, maybe it's just a slightly larger than average size wrist. Throw it on here. Um... I want to say, let me see if I can get you some dimensions on this watch, uh, 34 centimeters. Uh, the band width is 24 centimeters. That's what it's advertised at. You know, pretty, pretty normal sized watch. Doesn't look oversized, doesn't look uh, remarkably small. There is a fairly noticeable gap between the watch band and the case here. Um, you know, not bad, it's just that's how it is. Uh, I, I usually tend to prefer watch bands that are a little closer, that hug the case a little bit more. Um, but it's just, that's a matter of preference. But if you like blue and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a watch, here it is. This is the one you should get.
Sammy's store. Peter Von Panda. Out.